In the USA, several U.S. retailers get store exclusives. Since 2013, Walmart's been getting cars as part of a Zamax series. When they got their L-case dump-ins, there were three Zamax in the batch. Zamax number 10 was the fast bed hauler. Number 11 was the 68 Mercury Cougar. And number 12 was the super van. They get Zamax about every other month in their dump-ins. They get specially packed dump-ins just for Walmart. Uh, I don't find them all the time, but I was really glad to find this batch. I like all three models. And if you don't know about Zamac, Zamac is the metal that Hot Wheels are made of. Actually, all Hot Wheels are Zamac. It's just that the Zamac series doesn't have paint. It just shows the bare metal. Look, same model, but see this one doesn't have paint. They use the same decos. It just doesn't have the paint. Zamac itself stands for zinc, aluminum, zinc, <laughs> I said the, I almost said the British version there, zinc, aluminum, magnesium, and copper. Those are the four elements that are used for the base metal for Hot Wheels die cast vehicles, uh, probably in Matchbox too, as a matter of fact. So all of these are Zamac, it's just that, are made out of Zamac material, it's just that this is a Zamac series without paint. And like I said, it's the same decos. If you notice the collector number in the bottom corner, same collector number, number 224 out of 250, in this case here, with the Cougar, number 181, same decos, same collector number. So they're just kind of part of the, uh, the series to collect for the year. And the Super Van was number 55 of 250. As you can see, same decos, just no base paint. They do use a clear coat though to protect the metal from tarnishing. I did pick up extras of all three. I love, I really love the fast bed hauler and the super van. And I got a few of the Cougar as well. Check out this fast bed hauler. The tampo is shifted a little bit to the left. Look, uh, <laughs> the B and body shop got cut off. That's a small pillar. So when they make a little bit of a misadjustment, it cuts off the tampo. Out of all the store exclusives, uh, I think that Walmart definitely gets the best end of that deal. In my opinion, the Zamax are uh, much more nicer to display, and much, and especially as a set. Oh, this one's a little tough to snap back. There we go. Much nicer dis to display, and it's kind of neat to have uniform exclusives to where they they all same, share the same trait, like in this case, Zamax. Uh, all the other stores just kind of a mismatch of uh, colors. Kmart probably gets the short end as far as that goes. I'm not so sure who's picking the colors for their ex store exclusives. But the Zamax, definitely a uh, collector favorite. It would help if we put them in the center, wouldn't it? Zamax, definitely collector favorite. You know when you go to collector shows, yeah, they tend to have uh, treasure hunts and they tend to have Zamax. But that's how it goes. Uh, I bought extras. I know other people buy extras too. And I, I don't whine if I miss out. I just wait. Because I know I could give, get them for a, a few bucks later on. No big deal. And yeah, they're collectible. But I've, uh, I've done track time with them too. Yeah, even, even the uh, hauler. Fast bed hauler. Yeah. I put him in a track time. Cougar in the van. As a matter of fact, if you want to see those videos... Here's the one where Supervan got a track time. Here's the video where Fastbed Holler got some track time. And Mercury Cougar as well. When I say track time, it doesn't necessarily mean boosters, loops, and curves. I just do some track testing to see how they perform. It's like a uh, review, performance review. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up and happy hunting and happy collecting. Bye-bye.